Hey everyone, it's Trapper Hallam here with your friendly ITC geeks. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to administer a test in Performance Matters. It's easier than you think. So what's it mean to administer a test in Performance Matters? Well, it really comes down to two parts. One is gonna be that of releasing the test to your students so that they have access to it. And then two would be to monitor that test. That's where you watch them take it and you can kind of move them through or back to parts if they need to, or if it's in a lockdown browser, which it could be turned on, that means if they get kicked out on accident or on purpose, that you can move them back into the test. Now this only applies to tests that are done online. But if you did print a bubble sheet, you wouldn't need to go through all of these steps. But some of these will be helpful regardless because you still have to release that test to be able to print the bubble sheets. The type of test that we're gonna talk about is what we refer to as an AKO. An AKO is just an acronym for an answer key only test, which means that in simple terms, we're not building all the questions in Performance Matters. Instead, we've taken our test and either have a paper copy of it that we're gonna to hand to our students, or we've uploaded that document into Performance Matters so that it's there digitally. Either way, what we get with the test, be it in paper and pencil or digitally, we get an answer document where the students can click the correct answer and Performance Matters will grade that and provide us the data. It's a very powerful tool that we like to use. If we're doing this online, we're going to monitor this process of the students taking the test with their answer key in what we call an OLA, an online administration. It's just a window where you can see where the students are at in their tests, if they haven't started it, or if they have started it and they're in progress, or if they got booted because they tried to do something that the lockdown browser didn't like. But you have the ability in that window to move them back to where they need to be. Without further ado, let's take a look at what all of this looks like. All right, let's start by getting into Performance Matters. And to do that, we're gonna go into ClassLink and we're gonna go ahead and navigate over to our PowerSchool, right? PowerSchool Teacher. So we're gonna click on the PowerSchool Teacher. That's gonna open up. In the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna see the little application launcher. It looks like a box with an arrow pointing out of it. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna give us a Performance Matters link and we're gonna click it, which is gonna open up Performance Matters for us. All right, once in Performance Matters, we're gonna see our dashboard. And we're not gonna go through all of Performance Matters. We're really just gonna focus on administering a test. So there's two ways to release a test or give it to your students. One is by going to the test center. Hi, okay, I just wanted to jump in real quick and make something kind of clear here. This first method that I'm gonna show you where we release the test from the test center is our preferred method if we're going to test using bubble sheets. If you're gonna print the bubble sheets out and give it to the kids so that they can print on the bubble sheets, this first method through the test center is what we'd like to do. If you're going to give your test in this online only, we're gonna use method two, which is the OLA student status page. That's just a little bit easier and cleaner, and then you don't have to go into this test center window at all you can just do everything from the OLA screen. So we're gonna use that one. All right, I just wanna jump in and clear that up. Let's get back to the video. So we're gonna navigate over to tests and then we're gonna click on that and we're gonna click on test center after that. That's gonna take us to where all of the tests are that we have available to us. Ones that we've created, which we have access to, and ones that maybe have been given to us by our district. So all of the tests that we can see will fall into this window but we're gonna go ahead and pretend that we have a test here, which we do, that we can go ahead and attempt to release to our students. So we're gonna use Test Trapper 3 for this demo. And by going into Test Trapper 3, we can go over here to the right of it on the three dots and we're gonna go ahead and click it. And you'll see that the third option down says release online slash paper based, which means that we're going to give this to our students by clicking on this. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this and what it's gonna do is it's gonna open a little dialog box. And in that dialog box, you're gonna see all of the students that are assigned to you. Remember, these are just your students that you're able to give these to. Now, it's going to tell you, as you can see here for the demo, there's 210 students assigned to me, but maybe you only wanna give this one class at a time. So what you would do then is you click on a student filter, and then inside of this student filter, we're gonna go over to geographical, and then we're gonna choose teacher, and we're gonna choose ourselves. So we're gonna type ourselves in here, and that's gonna come up. I'm gonna select that, 
And then I can come down to course then or class and choose the correct student population that I want to give this test to. So in this case, let's give it to the first hour that we have. So we're going to choose AP Psychology for our demo here. So once I click apply, what that's going to do is it's going to repopulate that first window that we saw and it's going to just pull up the students that I would have in first hour. So instead of 210, we should see that population drop down to, well, 33 in this case, and one has finished this test already. So a total of 34. Now you can see that all of these students, except for the one, is selected. What I can do now is I come down to the bottom and I can say release. And when I click release, what that's going to do is it's going to give this particular test to all of those students. So let's do that now. All right, so what you should have seen is that now all of those students that were in this blue here now have a status that says assigned. And they've got a little star here, which means that if they go to the performance matters window through ClassLink, they will see this test waiting for them to take. Okay, they have access to it right now. Now, some tests have multiple sections. And so each section of a test has to be assigned individually. So if what that may look like if we come up to the top, even though we've assigned this section one test here for Trapper 3, if we drop it down, you can see that there's more sections to give. So in this case, I would have to release all of these right now so they have all four sections to do or release one at a time as I see fit. So maybe they finish section one and then I come back here and I release section two. All right, either way, this is how you release a test through the test center. Okay, now that we've shown you how to release the test for the online environment so that students can take it on their computer, let's just take a quick second at what it looks like to print the bubble sheets so that you can hand that out to them so they can take it on paper. Now, while we're in this window and we have all of our students selected, we've already clicked release, which releases it for the online portion of this test. Now, if we want them to bubble those sheets in, we're gonna come over here to pre-slug sheets. That's gonna be the option that we click where it fills out all the information of the students right on the sheet for us. And so let's click that now. You'll see that it should process and what it'll give us is a PDF download. You can see that opened up here. And when I click it to open it, you're gonna see all of the students populate here and then the sheet that they would have to take this test. So this you would print out, you would give to your students and then they would bubble this in and then you would scan those in through the copier. Uh, a little bit more labor intensive, but it does give you some opportunities that the online one doesn't. Okay, so I just wanted to show that and now you're good to go on how to print your bubble sheets as well. Now let's jump over to the OLA student status page where I can show you how to release a test from there and we can go ahead and monitor or see how to monitor our students as they take the test. So to do that, let's go ahead and jump over to the test option here on the left. We're gonna click on that and then this time we're gonna go to OLA student status when we click on that, we should be greeted with a screen that has a filter at the top. First thing it's gonna ask you to do is identify what test you'd like to take. So you're gonna scroll through there or you can type in the test name either way. I'm gonna scroll down here to, to a section two of the Trapper 3 test. So I'm gonna click on that. And you'll see that that expands the filter a bit. And here we're gonna choose ourselves, right? So we're gonna click in that box that says, teacher, you're gonna choose your own name, which is gonna help filter down to your students. And again, by class, if I click on class now, now that we've identified ourselves, we should see here in just a moment, our classes pop up so we can choose one of them. And as you can see, that's happened now. We can choose one of these classes. We're gonna again, go with our first hour. And now what we've done is we've selected ourselves and our first hour, and those are the ones that we're looking to administer this to. Again, you can choose all of your classes here. You can choose some of your classes here. You can choose all of your students. Again, it's very much similar to the window we saw at the beginning. So now this time we're gonna go ahead and click apply filter. And when we click apply filter, you'll see that there's 34 kids, just like we had in the previous test center. Hi, it's me again. I just wanted to jump in and show a few more controls for the filtering while you're running an online test. So let's go ahead and see here that we've got that test trapper three up section two. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to myself and click to my class first hour. We've already seen that, but you have more control. So let's say in this class, I've got two grade levels. I've got an 11th grade and a 12th grade. And I only want the 11th graders to take this section two. So I'm gonna go over here and click on grade level. And then you'll see here that whatever grade levels are available for that class hour will be populated. So I'm gonna choose 11th grade. And now I'm gonna click apply filter. What we'll see is just the 11th graders 
populate below. So I want to assign them the test. It looks like I've already done that for this section for these 11th graders, so they have the test. But now I want the 12th graders to take a different section or even a different test. I can choose any test that I have available. So in this case, I'll choose section three, let's say. So I'm gonna come up here to the top and I'm gonna come down here to section three and then I'm gonna come over again and select myself. And you can see how quickly this happens. It's not a long process. And I'm gonna come over here to grade level and I'm gonna click 12th grade. Click apply filters. And you can see that this has also been assigned to them in my practice time. But I could assign this test by again, coming over here and clicking, you know, release the OLA um, and that would give it to them here. So then they would have that test. So I could be running two different sections or two different tests or even more, three or four in the same hour. It is important to note that this screen here, while I'm administering the test, where I see if they're in progress, locked or submitted, right? Those are the three important parts. I can only see one test at a time, but it's important to know that this process is rather quick and I can switch sections rather easily. So if I wanna go back to section two, I always come up here, click it, click myself, click my class, and then again, go ahead and apply filters. Because it's only assigned to my 11th graders, I don't need to go back to the grade level. I just know that these 10 are my seniors that aren't getting this particular test. And then I can do whatever I need to do, and then if I need to switch the test again, I can come up here and click. So let's say that while I'm doing this, I've got live updates applied to this. And the reason I wanna talk about this is that live updates will update the screen or their progress every 60 seconds. You can see the countdown here. But what happens if I need a more immediate update? Like if a student comes to me and says, hey, I'm locked out. So I filter that test, but I don't see it because the live update hasn't happened. Just click apply filter again, and that gives you an immediate update for the, that particular test that you're looking at in that screen. Also, if you have for some reason to give this test even further by more constraints than you know, hour and or grade level, you can also filter by student by clicking here. And you can give it to individual students or a select student. Um, they can get just that particular test. So I just wanted to stop in here and show you a few more of the controls that you have with the filtering so that I can get you up and running. So let's jump back to the video now and we'll move along when we release this test. This time, this is a different section, so we'll see all 34 over here. Now, this is your window for viewing how the students are taking the test. You can see that we have a few categories here. We have unassigned, saying that that would be the test has not been given to these students. The next would be assigned, which means that we have assigned them the test. You can see there's a locked category next. In the locked category, if a student has clicked or done something they shouldn't have for a lockdown browser, they'll be moved to this, which pauses their test and they can no longer continue until you move them out of this status. In progress would be students that have had the test assigned and then are now currently taking the test or in progress of taking the test. Submitted means that they've completed the test and they've clicked a button that says submit. And then finally finished is when the data has been processed and you can actually see the results of that test. It would be important to note here that there is a live updates button here that if you click this and when you click apply filters, this will give you current updates as these students move through this. It does update once a minute. So you'll see that there will be a countdown. If you look now, you can see there's a countdown for the next update to show you where that status is of your students. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and take this test, section two of our Trapper 3 test, and go ahead and assign it. To assign it, there's a couple different ways, but if we click on the unassigned button right here in the little drop down arrow, you'll see that it says, release all 34 unassigned students to OLA, which means again, online access for the test. So we're gonna go ahead and click release to all of that. And you'll see the difference here is now that they are all assigned down here and they have a star. You've also seen that all 34 are now moved over to the assigned category. All right, next, let's take a look at what it looks like to be a student in this testing environment. Okay, so here we are on our student screen. As a student, you're gonna come in, we're gonna find the performance matters icon here and we're gonna click on this. When we click on this, it should take us right into our testing window. If a teacher has released a test to us, we'll see it immediately here. If more than one teacher has released a test to us, we'll see all of them available if they're on the same day or if they're still open. So the student will have to decide which test to take. Normally, there's usually one test open at a time, but there's the opportunity for multiple tests depending on how many people are assigning tests to this particular student. Either case, we can see here is our practice test that we've been working with. 
You can see they can see how many questions they have available, what the status is for them on this one that says available. It's not paused, they're not locked out. And if there was a time limit on that particular test or section of the test, there would be a, a number here representing how much time they had for that test, then they can click start. So when they click start here, they can see some of the options that they have available for the test, like highlighters, clearing highlighters. So we can click start. As a student, we'll go into this testing screen here. On the left, you'll see your test that's been uploaded for the, for the documentation. This could also be given by paper, but this is an uploaded version. So they can scroll through this particular test and have it all right there in the window for them. On the right is where they would mark their answers. This is the answer key only version of the test, right? So this is really, you can either give it to the, the test to them online or you can give it to them by paper. But the piece of this that really matters is over here where they have the multiple choice or the response mechanism for them to reply to in performance matters. With that being said there, they have some toolkits uh, depending on what is available for them, they can have a highlighter so they can highlight particular sections of this here. You can see they can highlight the multiple choice answer over here. They can go to the highlighter on the other side and they can highlight text um, if they'd like to. They can also add text to the document if they choose to. They can erase this text. They can mark on it um, as well if they need to mark on that test. So it gives them all of the same capabilities that they have in paper right there online. So this is the testing environment. Once they're done, if they had chose, um, you know, there's the first question, they can click next at the bottom, progress to the next one. As the questions go, these should match the correct answer. So this is question two dash two, which represents section two of our test, our demo test, question two, just to kind of help signify which section they're in. You can see here we're in section two. And so, you know, question two would be whatever one they thought here. So they'd mark it. And when they're done, they would submit their test Again, they can jump back and forth between all the questions over here. But when they submit that test, it's gonna give them a little prompt that's gonna ask, hey, are you sure you wanna submit these questions? Go ahead and click Submit. And then when you're done, you can see that the test status here has been submitted for that particular student. All right, next, let's jump back into the Teachers OLA Student Status page to see what that looks like for the teacher as that as that student has finished and submitted that test. All right, here we are back as a teacher. We're looking at that student status page. As you can see now that we have one student that has submitted that test, if you come down here to our list, you can see that there is submitted mark for the status of that particular student. Now look at, notice it's under submitted, not finished. So finished means that the data has been recorded and reported so you can see that analytics. So currently that has not processed yet. But as soon as it does, you'll see it live here. We have a couple options. If we've decided that, that student has not finished or they've asked us to let us go back in there for some reason and we're fine with it, we can click here on the drop down arrow and it says move the one submitted student to in progress. We have the ability to move them back into progress so that they can continue that test. The same option if they've been locked out, we don't have any, but we can move them to submitted or we can unlock the test with choices like that. And then if there's students that are in progress that didn't hit submit, you can click on this button and you can move them to submitted. And then if you see something suspicious, you can also lock them out at this point. And that's kind of the whole testing window in a nutshell. I think we've looked at every aspect now. We've gone ahead and seen how to release the test in two different fashions, right? One in the test center and then one through the OLA student status page. We've seen what it looks like to manage and operate the students as they take the test. And additionally, we've also seen what that looks like for a testing environment for the students themselves. So with that said, I think we've covered everything that you need to know to become a pro at running a test on Performance Matters. Why don't you give it a try? and go ahead and find some success. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.